afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the turf fields at Hopkinton High School for Hopkinton Hillers Field Hockey as they take on the Westwood Wolverines. Westwood comes in with a record of two wins, no losses, no ties. The Hillers, two wins, no losses, and one tie. Tom Nappy, Larry Sacklad on the call, Matt Clark on camera. Westwood is led by head coach Heather Joyce. The Hillers are led by head coach Becky Abate. And we are ready to go in game number four of the season for the Hillers. Uh, Hillers won the toss today. They did. They like to receive. And we are underway here at Hopkinton High School. The Hillers start off with possession in their white jerseys working left to right. Here's Vani Sharma driving in to the top circle. Backhanded pass to the side of the net out of play it goes. We'll be seeing a lot of her today. She's a magician with her stick. Unable to catch up with it on, in time was Sarah Doyle. Here comes Westwood. Westwood's got a little payback for Hopkinton, I think, after Hopkinton boys varsity baseball beat up on the Wolverines in the uh, South Final, Division Two South Final. We were there at Campanelli Field, weren't we? We were. Yeah. Yeah. Hillers with possession. Bonnie Sharma with the pass up. Now here comes Megan White. She had a couple of goals on Monday. Get a contact whistle here in favor of the Hillers. Pass over and that'll be Westwood possession as Sarah Doyle knocks it out of play. Just underway here in the first half. Minute and a half into action. Two talented teams playing here today. Westwood with possession. They were practicing their long passes before the game. They look pretty good. Pass up by the captain, Watson, and now Westwood working in Hiller's territory. A little uh, here. stick interference. In favor of the Wolverines. Westwood trying to drive down. Loose ball, and we get a whistle here. Well, penalty corner. Yep. Some violation occurred in that circle. So the Wolverines with an early chance. Passing it out will be Abby Crowley, Jr. Top of the circle. Anna Bloomquist trying to get to it for Westwood, one of the captains. Wolverines working in Hiller's territory. Violation here, Hiller's ball. So for those at home, for the first time, remember this is a combination of ice hockey and soccer. Not allowed to have a ball touch your body or you'll hear the whistle. Wolverines driving in. Out of play it goes on the attempted shot. That was Liz Watson, one of the captains for Westwood. Players bringing the ball in. The defenders have to give them five yards. Beautiful day here at the turf fields. Temperatures in the low 80s. 82 degrees was the last read. Windy day as well. The breeze certainly feels nice. With a little bit of humidity. Kate Dean with the pass down to Ricefelder. Rice Felder along the near side. Pass up over to Blomquist. Get a whistle here in favor of the corner. Wolverines penalty corner. That means five at the top of the circle. They're gonna let the ball go outside the circle, get it, and then bring it in. Abby Crowley distributes it out. Over to Blomquist. Now the Wolverines. Trying to drive in, there's a shot. And it was well defended by the goaltender. Still out in front of the net. And it's knocked away briefly, still in the danger zone, however. Just a herd of players from both sides in front of the net. There's a shot deflected away by Gross, and out of play it goes. 
It was Blomquist on the last shot. Elizabeth Gross, the goaltender for the Hillers. Being put to work early and often in this one so far. <coughs> Hillers with possession. Stolen away as Kendall Blomquist steps in. Blomquist with the pass over. Back and forth we go. Ooh, sneaky in Top behind. Top of the box, yeah. Stolen away from the, by the Hillers. Now taken back by Westwood as Hannah Blomquist steps in. There's a shot, deferred. Whistle here in favor of the Hillers. Pass up the near side over to Megan White. Quickly stolen back by Westwood as Kendall Bloomquist gets in there. They can only use the flat part of the stick. They can't use the rounded edge. So they can flip the stick around a little bit and use the toe of it. Contact whistle there, Bloomquist with the pass over and it'll end up off the side of the net out of play. I saw the referees before the game go down to each girl's stick and take a look at it because if there's a illegal stick, it's not put in play. But did you know they can throw the challenge flag, these coaches? Or the captains can? They think they got an illegal stick. And if it fails, that team ends up serving a penalty, minor penalty. Ah. Three minute penalty. So I don't see any red flag in the coach's sock, so I don't think there's too much of that. Along the far side, here comes Westwood. Pass over, shot wide right from Watson. Elizabeth Watson, a senior, one of the captains for Westwood. Hillers with possession. Along the far side, here comes Hopkinton. Good block tackle by Westwood. Laid her stick down. She must have got stick though. Yeah, there was some contact there. Vani Sharma with possession. Hillers trying to keep it back and forth we go in Westwood territory. This whistle in favor of Westwood. About seven minutes in to the first half. Scoreless between the Wolverines and the Hillers. Ball now along the far side and a couple tangled up players there. That was lame. Caroline Lehman getting tangled up with Lindsay Diomede. Yeah, nice. And now here comes Westwood once again, trying to threaten Reisfelder. Driving in. Why does Reisfelder, wait, she must have a brother played on the baseball team. She does, Reisfelder. Michael Reisfelder. Well, my memory isn't that bad. And Ionelli will distribute it for the Hillers. Misfire there, Ionelli sticks with it though. Good pass up, now in control is Alyssa McIntyre. Now Vani Sharma trying to get there. She was cut off by Laura Wysocki. You know there's such a thing as a stealth block? I Bet not. you did not know that. When you come up from, a defender comes up from behind of an attacker and sticks her stick and grabs the ball with the hook of the stick and take the ball away. Wolverines trying to attack. Kendall Bloomquist now out in front of the net. The goalie is out there as well as Gross and the shot wide left. That was Hannah Blomquist on the shot. Somebody's calling a timeout yeah, early. Looks, looks like the Hillers are going to call a timeout. Coach Bate doesn't like what she sees here in these early minutes. 21-17 left to go in the first half. We are scoreless between Westwood and Hopkinton on H Camp. So what are the signs of an opioid overdose and how can I recognize that somebody is experiencing one? Well, they're actually pretty easy to spot. A person who is experiencing an overdose may appear confused and have a decreased level of consciousness and alertness. They also may have constricted pupils. When you see somebody who's experiencing an overdose, the number one most important thing to do first is to call 911. 
Next, do rescue breathing. And finally, take out your naloxone kit and administer the naloxone. Naloxone comes in an easy to use package with instructions for how to use it. Each box of naloxone may look different. They're all very easy to use and you do not need medical training in order to use it. So who should have nasal naloxone? Well, everybody should have it to help a loved one who may be suffering from a substance abuse disorder or just to help a stranger in need. Obtaining naloxone is easy. You can obtain it from your doctor, from a pharmacy standing order, or from any of the Department of Public Health sites. By just following these simple steps, you might just be able to save a life. Off the timeout, 21-17 left to go. The Hillers and Westwood tied up at zero piece, but the Wolverines providing some early pressure. Hillers called the timeout, talk things over, switch up their strategy a little bit. Goaltender matchup today, Liz Gross for the Hillers in her senior year, and Amelia Coggin in her sophomore year for Westwood. Hillers start off with possession. Off the timeout, Hannah Ionelli with the pass over. Now along the near side, that's Liz Kane. Trying to work it up the near side, but stepping in was Kate Dean for Westwood. We get a whistle here in favor of the Hillers as Megan White was able to step in there. White pass up. Now it's taken back by the Wolverines. Almost a steal there for Sharma. Dean pass over to Blomquist. Out of play. Side in for Hopkinton. Kane will put it in play. Kate Dean steps in there. Now the Hillers drive, Ivani Sharma. And it's stolen away. Good stick work there by Westwood's Celia Mastromati, one of the captains. Nice play by Ionelli. Ionelli has been busy in the defensive zone so far today. Pass over by Muldoon. Hiller's working it up the far side. Sarah Doyle with possession. Ionelli, one of the captains, she's right. a senior. Yeah. Sharma pops that one up off a Westwood player, Wolverine's ball. Katie Kissel, a sophomore, will come to the near side and Kate Dean puts it in play. Liz Watson trying to work around Liz Kane there. Westwood ball. Cassell with the pass down. And it's knocked away by Kane, but it is out of play, side in. This isn't rough enough for me, Tom. Katie Cassell. I see some good body checks. Well, then you'll have to come to the ice hockey games. Uh, maybe I will. Cassell puts it in play for Westwood. Now it's stolen away by Cami McDonald. Wolverines winning the possession battle so far. Each time Hopkins is trying to get it back into their uh, offensive zone, they seem to be whiffing on it. On the near side, Kathleen Rice, Felder, pass over. Now working with it is Blomquist. Nice dribbling by her. Guess that's why she's the captain. Wolverines try to enter the box out in front. There's a shot deflected away by a defender. That shot was by Liz Watson. Along the far side now, the Hillers trying to work up field. No numbers though. Pass up by Doyle. Now Sharma. Take it back by Westwood. Sharma took a big swing at that, and the ball didn't go hardly anywhere. There's Ricefelder. Pass up. There's a shot wide left by the captain, Hannah Blomquist. 17.44 and counting left to go in the first half. Still scoreless, but Westwood putting some pressure on. 
And Ionelli will put it in play. Let's see if she can get a good strike here. Over to Liz Kane, pass up. And quick to intercept was Dean, and we have some contact in favor of Westwood, Dean. A little foot foul. Pass over towards the box. Ricefelder trying to race in there. And Abby Crowley was the last to touch before it went out of play. I thought I heard the ref oh, nope. say 25 yard line. Excuse me, it's going to be in favor of Westwood here. Some contact initiated. Yeah, at the 25, Westwood takes it. Tiello puts it in play for Westwood. Now the Hillers, Sharma. Up the near side, Kami McDonald trying to race to it, but she was cut off by Kate Dia. Now McDonald able to get there, pass over to McIntyre. Hillers trying to create a little bit of pressure here. Ionelli steals so far. Yep. Kami McDonald, nice pass to Sharma. Sharma with a misfire there. Good block tackle. This whistle in favor of Westwood. Kate Dean will put it in play. Westwood just subbed in. 16 minutes and counting left to go in the first half. Side out there, Hiller's ball. It's Muldoon trying to work the far side. Wolverines end up winning that battle. Pass down up the far side. Here comes Westwood. Oh. Foot foul. Pass up by Abby Crowley. Oh. She can get around in front of the attacker. Westwood ball again. Wolverines trying to rush the box. Miller is able to get there. Sharma trying to work it upfield. There's a strike wide to the right. That shot was by the captain, Hannah Blumquist. Do you notice the goalies rarely use their uh, sticks? They're just using their pads and kicking the, kicking the balls out of the way? Yeah. And they're not that big of a blade, but... They don't have a glove like hockey. They that is blockers. one of the uh, well-known strategies to the sport. Here comes the Hillers. Sharma up the far side. Oh, Sharma with the pass across. Nobody there. Nope. Westwood will take it. Kendall Bloomquist. Hopkins waiting for a sub, and Sharma comes out. Hey, it hit her foot. Hiller's no ball. Fair. Pass up. Hillers will put it in play here. Pass over by Kane. Now the Hillers trying to rush in. Out in front of the net, good box out by Wysocki for Westwood. Pass up to Blomquist along the far side. Whistle in favor of Westwood. Westwood working it up the far sideline. That is Rice Felder. Hiller's ball. Twenty-eight 
12.35 and counting left to go in the first half. Westwood putting on the pressure, but so far Hiller's defenders holding their own. Nice defensive move down there. Curled around the attacker and got the ball away. Whistle in favor of the Hillers. Went off a of Wolverine sticking out of play. Here's Sharma. No, no. Or excuse me. That was uh, Souza, Alyssa Souza. Up the far side it goes, trying to track it down for the Hillers is Hannah Ionelli. She will put it back into play. Whistle in favor of Westwood. Caitlin Vitt Vitello will put it in play. Vitello with the pass over. Good battle for it there. There's a shot kicked away by Gross off the stick of Blomquist. It's a hot one today, Tom, a hot one. Certainly is. Thanks hot. for the sunblock, by the way. Hottest day we had in a while here. 11 minutes, just under 11 minutes left to go in the first half. Somebody just asked me whether we were broadcasting live. What should I tell them? That would be a no. Well, they'll hear that on YouTube. They go to watch the game. Hiller's ball. Here comes Alyssa Souza, and it's stolen away. Block tackle by her. She put her stick flat on the ground and stopped the Hopkins and player from advancing. Now it's Bloomquist. Oh, we'll fight for that ball. Let's Certainly get leverage. Is. Rice Felder stepped in there for Westwood. Hiller's ended up winning the battle. Nicely done by Anna Ionelli. Ionelli with possession, pass over to the far side. She's looking for Doyle. So far it looks like Westwood's just a lot more disciplined than Hopkinton is. And Westwood's going to take a timeout. 9.41 left to go in the first half. We are scoreless between the Hillers and Westwood on H camp. My name is Kurt. My name is Nina. A gun? I'm Haley. Hi, hi, Davis. Jake. We're the Hiller volleyball team. My name is Emma. My name is May. My name is Shelby. My name is Sophie. We're Al and Gal, and we love H Camp. Hey, I love H Camp. We love H Camp. And I volunteer for H Camp TV. I watch H Camp TV. And I love H Camp TV. And I love H Camp TV. We love H Camp TV. Off the timeout, 9.41 left to go in the first half. Scoreless between Westwood and Hopkinton. I'll let you in on a little secret. I didn't notice this, but the goalies wearing like a padded snowshoe. That's how they're able to kick the ball out. I thought they were wearing sneakers like everybody else. Got a funky looking things. Surprised you know that, Larry. Thought you were a field hockey expert. Well, I know how to snowshoe. <laughs> not true. Not true. Well, you're doing a good job not talking about the last game. Yeah, it was a good per game. Per our last agreement. Game. But we're on to Westwood. They certainly are. Charmer's back in the game. Hillers took last game over Hopedale. Uh, Four to one. It's Westwood we got to focus on. <laughs> Just Westwood. That sounds like a familiar tone. Wolverines working in the box. Trying to drive in off the side of the net out of play. This is reminiscent of the game two games ago. Yeah, but I thought we were on a Westwood. 
we are under Westwood. But it was a 0-0 game is what I'm trying to say. The other games don't matter, Larry. It's about Westwood today. <sighs> Blomquist with possession. Tracked down along the far side by Caroline Lehman. Here comes the Hillers trying to work up field. Alyssa Souza in the action. Not Chris passing by Hopke, did. Lots of whiffing. Okay, Dean with the pass up. Nice pass there. Here comes the Wolverines. Trying to work it in for Westwood was Mia O'Donnell. Nice save. Oh, open oh. opportunity, and she could not put it in. Wide right. Uh, uh. <clears throat> she was right at the mouth of the goal, and she missed it. It's Kathleen Ricefelder on the shot. Well, her brother struck out a lot against the Hellers, didn't he? Ricefelder. Here comes Ricefelder. Another nice pass over to the top circle. Miller is able to keep it out for the moment. A little stick fight with Sharma. Sharma wins the battle. She's going to pass it up to Cammy McDonald, I think. Stolen away by Blomquist. Pass down to Blo Hannah Blomquist, to Kendall and Hannah. Oh. Another foot foul. It's going Wolverine's way. 6.52 and counting left to go in the first half. Hannah Blomquist will put it into play. Wow, Pops she it up. It. Can't and do that, the ref didn't like that scoop. Hiller's ball. Hopkinton having trouble getting into Westwood territory. Oh, right between the legs. Wolverines trying to take it back. Oh, she tried to use a pick on number nine. Some nice moves there by Westwood. Here comes Liz Watson. El Capitan. Uh-oh, out in front. Gross kicks it away as Taylor Kane was rushing in. Up the near side, Cammy McDonald. Trying Picked to pass off. it up, stolen away by Dean. Bonnie Sharma gets in there. It is a battle. She's tripped up, no call. Play on, says the official. Top of the circle now, there's a shot. Loose ball, deflected away. Secondary shot turned away by the defender. Mio O'Donnell was on that last shot. I think it was Grace Lehman again that uh, Prevented that, I was going to say, puck ball from getting to the goal crease. Hiller's defenders have been hard at work today. And we have a call in favor of Westwood here. Five minutes left, exactly. Out in front, can they get it out of there? That was a nice move there by... Kendall Bloomquist, but the Hiller is able to get it out of the box. Oh, ball hit a foot, and it's Westwood's, Westwood's ball. We'll have a penalty corner. Two 30-minute halves. 10-minute intermission. Kathleen Reisfelder will distribute it out. Over to Hannah Blomquist, she goes. And now back in the danger zone, corner of the net. Knocked out of play. Good defense by Hopkinton. Certainly oh, was, Kathleen oh. Ricefelder was right in there. And a pair of Hiller's defenders able to prevent that one from going in. And Ionelli and Sierra Perry in the mix. And there's a quick substitution by Westwood. Those goals, Tom, are seven feet high and 12 feet wide.
Jamie McDonald trying to keep control. That's a nice pass. pass. This looks like a good opportunity for Hopkins. Melissa Souza driving in. And that is deferred. Here's Vani Sharma. Nice pass up over to Olivia Mingase. Uh, there's a stick. Stick interference by Westwood. Mingase got tied up with Hannah Blomquist. Blomquist now with the pass down over to Taylor Kane. Along the far side, Ricefelder. I hate to give Westwood credit, but they do pass nicely. They certainly do. Here's Kathleen Ricefelder driving in. Taken out of the box by Shiara Perry. Perry and Lehman are anchoring that defense so far this year. 247 and counting left to go in the first half. We remain scoreless between Westwood and Hopkinton. There's a shot kicked away by Liz Gross. Off the stick of Hannah Blomquist, long shot there. 235 left in the first half. Off comes Sharma for her replacement. Megan Muldoon will come into the game for Vani Sharma. Westwood working in Hiller's territory. Pass over by Blomquist and now Ainelli steps in there. Pass up by Souza. Working along the far side is Liz Kane. Hopkins trying a little give and go. Good pass there. Out in front of Alyssa McIntyre but stepping in was Waisaki. Hillers will put it in play, side out. McIntyre, contested, sticking with it. Pass up to Muldoon. Now Westwood has it back. When was the last time you saw an optometrist, Tom? Lindsay <laughs> <laughs> uh. Diomede on the near side gets it back over to Blomquist. Kendall Bloomquist now back up to Diomede. Lehman's going to clear it out. 119 and counting left to go in the first half. Westwood continuing to put pressure on. Diomede. Ooh, that, that hurt. One. Yeah, she put that one off of Perry. Wolverines will take it from the 25. There's Blomquist. Almost went above the waist with that uh, clear out. I and Ellie able no -no. to clear it out. Well, on the far side. Got 30 seconds to make some hay. That play in. goes off of McIntyre. <laughs> Pass up along the far sideline by the Hillers. And now here comes Cammie McDonald. McDonald rushing in. Two seconds left. Pass over, no one there. And that'll do it for the first half. After one half of play, Westwood nothing, Hopkinton nothing. We have ourselves a TVL battle here at the Hopkinton High School Turf Fields. Second half coming up next on HCAM. Have you ever considered texting and driving? If so, you should know the consequences. If caught texting and driving for the first time, you could get an $100 fine plus your license taken away for 60 days. The consequences only get worse the more you get caught. Even if you don't get caught, there could be serious effects. You could get into a car accident and hurt yourself or someone else. Texting and driving is a very dangerous combination, so stop before this happens to you. We are ready for the second half. We were scoreless between Westwood and Hopkinton. Tom Nappy, Larry Sacklad on the call, Matt Clark on camera. It's been a good battle so far, but Westwood providing most of the pressure. So we'll see if the Hillers can respond in this second half.
<laughs> if anybody are. sees a missing roster floating by your house, <laughs> my drop, bad. Where to drop your roster, Larry? Oh. I don't even know how you did that. I muffed it. I got stone fingers. Westwood now working left to right across your screen. A collision there between Ionelli and Blomquist. Wolverines in control for now. Some nice backhanded work by Westwood. Good pass by Kendall to her sister Hannah. Here comes Westwood. Driving in, shot, and goal. Crap. Goal. Lindsay Diomede. Scores the goal off a nice assist. Yeah, she was hanging around the corner of the goal. Her teammate saw her. And easy goal. It comes with 29-28 left in the second half. I believe that was Kendall Bloomquist on the assist. And it's 1-0 Westwood. That ball was stolen away from McIntyre. Kendall Bloomquist, now it's taken away by Sarah Doyle. Coach doesn't like what she sees. She's gonna sub in really early. Not even a minute gone by. McIntyre with the pass up towards Souza. Susan puts it into the top of the circle. Oh, that was right whistle. in the shooter circle. Now they're going to have a penalty corner. First one of the day, I think, for Hopkinton. True? You keep it score? Yep. I think it's the first penalty you corner. You are correct. Doyle will pass it out. Out to the 16-yard mark. they got to wait till they touch it. Sarah Doyle out to Souza, leaves it behind for McIntyre, who slaps it out of play. I think a little bit of an errant shot there. Wide left. Westwood with possession. Trying to work up the near side. Stolen by Doyle. Oh. Doyle with a whiff. And that, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, any type of... Uh, Action that could cause injury. They uh, blow that whistle. Yeah, it was a hard swing. I it was must a say. stick in the puss. Souza. Doyle. Now they got some action brewing. Yeah. Rushing in. Shot. Deferred. Good defense work there by Mastro Matty. Here comes Westwood. Out to Reisfelder. Kathleen Reisfelder works it upfield. A way better athlete side, than her brother. Pass over way to better. Watson. Anna Ionelli stepping in there for the Hillers. Kept out of the box briefly by Laban. Wolverines looking for a shot opportunity, and it's in. It's Lindsey Diomede again. Double crap. Assist Hannah Blomquist. Not fair, Tom. Uncontested goals. That goal comes with 27-10 left. Westwood scoring fast and furious. Fast and furious? Oh. Okay. They had a few opportunities in the first half, but just could not find that good looking open shot. They've already found a couple here in this second half. Megan White for the Hillers with possession. Some body contact there will draw the whistle. Pass up by Mingase. Over to the box. Knocked back out by Mastromati. And here comes Westwood up the far side. Good and stick work there by Reisfelder. I know we're not talking about the last game, because we were just talking about Westwood, but Hopkins was so disciplined in the last game. Rice Felder with a pass back over towards Blomquist. Blomquist trying to maintain control, gets tied up with Sarah Doyle. Puts that one off of Doyle's stick. 
Bloomquist getting in there with the steal. There's a shot kept Good out block. of the box. And whistle in favor of the Hillers. Good block tackle. And she tries to clear it out. Intercepted by a Wolverine. Here's Diomede again. She's dangerous. The fight for the ball in the crease. Or near the crease. Out in front of the net. Who's clearing it? Grace Lehman. There's Caroline Lehman. Along the other side, 19. Caitlin Vitiello. And now here's Lindsay Diomede. Well, they are twins, so it's easy to, you know, mess it up. Along the near side, Sousa tracks down. Closing in on five minutes into the second half. Here's Megan White. Side out. Wapkin and Bull. Alyssa Souza will put it in play. Past the reach of McIntyre. Knock up the far side towards Kendall Bloomquist by Westwood. Bloomquist with a nice pass up over to Kathleen Reisfelder. You think Hopkins was playing with a woman down? There's a whiff by Westwood. And Ellie try to get it over to Olivia Mingase. Westwood driving up. Knocked away by Ionelli, but now Lexi Bean trying to respond for Westwood, or excuse me, that is Hannah Bloomquist. Into the box it goes. All the girls must wear shin guards. Pass up by Ellery Shute. Oh, nice dribble through McIntyre. Now Hannah Blomquist. Out in front. And we get a contact whistle. In favor of the Hillers. Hit a leg. Going the other way. 23-40 and counting. Left to go in the second half. 2-0 Westwood. Wolverines trying to take control. McIntyre gets in there for the Hillers. That whistle in favor of the Hillers. Sneaky play by Westwood, trying to come in from behind on McIntyre and steal the ball. Back and forth here at midfield. Ooh. Now we have a trip. It'll go Westwood's way. Hannah Blomquist with the pass up. Over to Liz Watson. Westwood trying to charge. There's Vitiello. We got a huge Doyle. student contingent here watching the game. Kimmy McDonald now. Two seniors are here, only kidding. Doyle with the pass up. Alyssa McIntyre along the near side. Trying to drive it into the box. There's a shot deferred by the goalie. Secondary shot, and it's in! I believe that was Olivia Mingase. I thought it was Cammy McDonald. Mingay certainly got the first hit on it. I'm not sure if there was someone else that knocked it in or not. Actually kind of disappointed in the uh, student body. That goal comes with 22-14 left. Someone called timeout. Who did? Westwood? Yeah, timeout called. But it was Mingay getting it right towards the net. And she might have been the goal scorer. We'll get a confirmation. 22-14 left to go in the second half. Westwood 2, the Hillers 1. It's Hillers Field Hockey on H Camp. When I have an asthma attack, I feel scared. Sometimes my parents have to take me to the hospital. I feel like a fish with no water. 
You know how to react to their asthma attacks. Here's how to prevent them. Call 1-866-NO-ATTACKS. Visit www.noattacks.org or call your doctor. Because even one attack is one too many. So we got confirmation on the Hiller's goal. They What's came at 22-14 left. It was Megan White. You are right. Scored the goal. Lisa McIntyre credited with the assist. Right on White. Two to Cancel one West your optician appointment. Two to one Westwood. But the Hiller is putting on some pressure. Abby Crowley puts it in play. Here comes Westwood trying to charge into Hiller's territory. Reisfelder. Pass up, past the reach of her intended target, Liz Watson. Westwood still in control here. Pass up by Kendall Bloomquist. Oh, and that save. one deflected away. Secondary shot there. Turned away from a defender. Be hopping the ball. Secondary shot was by Abby Crowley. Put in a play by Doyle. Stolen away by Westwood as Vitiello steps in there. Caitlin Vitiello distributes it. There's a shot blocked. And still on the ground out in front of that net. Over to Bloomquist, who will put it in. What a scoop Anna shot Bloomquist, Bloomquist gets some lift on that one and puts it into the back of the net. Yeah, you got to bring it back behind your leg and push down on it and scoop it up. She did that right from the shooter's circle, but did that goal count? If it wasn't in the shooter's circle, then it doesn't count. It did been. not count. Nope, did not count. No goal. Remains two to one. Westwood still working towards the danger zone. Can only score from 16 yards away. Here's Alyssa McIntyre up the near side. Oh, nice stick work. She got numbers. McIntyre trying to charge forward. Good stick work there. Cammy McDonald now. And it's turned away by Kate Dean. McDonald sticks with it. Now getting in there is Doyle. Looks good. Sarah Doyle launches it towards the shooter's circle. But we have a whistle in favor of Westwood here. Gonna have a sub. Six for two. 20 minutes and counting left to go in the second half. Two to one Westwood. That's and gonna be Hopkins and ball. Aaron pass towards Vitiello. Into the box it goes. A scrum of players from both sides. Pass out by Bloomquist over towards Reisfelder along the far side. I don't know whether Vondi Sharma's been injured or not. She hasn't seen a whole lot of action since the halfway part of the, of the first half. Here's Diomede. Over the shooter's circle. And getting tied up is Abby Crowley. She's able to distribute it out. Charging in, Kissel. Foul inside the circle. Penalty corner. Penalty corner for the Wolverines. Oh, there's Abby. someone waiting out at the 25. Abby Crowley gets it over to Hannah. Now back to Crowley and a shot. And it uh, was knocked away by the goaltender. They'll get another crack at it or they're gonna get a free hit. Hopkins, oh, look at the goalie pushing on the Westwood player. Pushing her out of the crease. Yeah, that is uh, Abby Crowley trying to box out Gross. In front of the net, turned away. 
I don't know. Some type of signals. I don't understand. Bunch of hands going. Hiller's ball. That's all that matters. Hiller's ball. Hiller's setting up their offense with that hit. Hillary Chute with the pass up the near side, and it's stolen away by Doyle. Over to McIntyre. She'll get it over to Estella. Carolina Estella trying to work it into Westwood territory, but it's stolen away by Waisaki. Doyle, pass over to McIntyre. Trying Not to enough. pass it up. Too many Wolverines in the area. Diomede. Pass up over to the shooter circle opportunity here. That shot deferred and kicked away by Gross off the stick of Watson. Turned away by the Hillers. Nicely done defensively. Doyle tracks it down. Pass up there to take it away is Dean for Westwood. And we get a contact whistle here in favor of Westwood. Sharma's back in the game after a long rest. On the near side, taken by Chute. Now Doyle. Sharma. A well-rested Vani Sharma trying to rush in. Using her backhand. Got good body position on the defender. That was a nice pass there. There's the foul. Whistle in favor of Hopkinton. I think that was stick interference. I believe you are correct. Sarah Doyle. Halfway through the second half. Outside the circle, the ref says. Free hit. Doyle with the pass over. Oh, Trying to sure track it down that. is Mingase. Ooh. Misfire there. That'll draw a whistle. Westwood ball. Over to midfield. Hillers trying to maintain control. They've been playing better since Westwood called that timeout. Crowley with the pass up. Here comes the Wolverines. This is Liz Watson. She's able to find Crowley. And we Crowley drive down towards the box. And we get a contact whistle here in favor of the Hillers. Penalty corner. Or excuse me, in favor of Westwood penalty corner. I think my roster is all the way down Main Street by now. I think so. 14.35 and ticking left to go. In the game, a two to one Westwood lead. Out in front into the shooter's circle. There's a shot and it's in. Hannah Bloomquist strikes. Three to one Westwood. That score comes with 14.24 left to go. Watson's coming out. She any relation to Steve Watson? No. So oh. 3 1 Westwood, 14 17 left. This whistle in favor of the Wolverines. Yeah, Hopkinton tried to get away with a foot foul. She didn't see that. She didn't think the ref saw it. I saw it. Here comes the Wolverines, Bloomquist. There's a shot wide right. And a Bloomquist has a pretty hard strike. Westwood will put it into play. Out in front, shot deflected. 
That was Abby Crowley on the shot. Nice to see Maddie Burdick down here to support the team. Brothers Tim and Chris at Boston College. It's turned away by Grace Lehman. Hannah Bloomquist with possession for Westwood. Nice move there. There's a shot and out in front of the net, still loose. It went off of Driscoll's hand protector. Lehman grown to the ground. Westwood still in the danger zone. That one lifted up, turned away by Gross from Bloomquist once again. Sharma now. Sharma was trying to look for Carolina Stella. Haven't seen much of Cammie McDonald this this half. Ricefelder with the pass over. Was deflected away by Muldoon. Hiller's now with possession. Sharma. Nice move there by Sharma. Getting in there for the steal is Kate Dean. Now it's Lexi Bean in the action for Westwood, and then we get a whistle in favor of the Hillers after a touch by Bloomquist. Sharma. Hillers ball. Side in. Pass up over to Megan White, who had the only goal of the game for the Hillers. Well, I think it hit her foot so far. Free hit for Westwood. Off the stick of Sharma. Able to maintain control is Abby Crowley. Here comes Lindsay Diomede. Diomede's been a royal pain today. Certainly has. Over to Crowley. Out in front, shot lifted up. Still in the danger zone, it's poked in. On the ricochet, Westwood scores. So it Maybe is that a tournament four to down one the Cape did take the wind out of these girls. Yeah. Three hours down on a grass field in Dennis Yarmouth. That goal comes with 11.01 left to go in the game. Kimmy McDonald back in the game. Westwood with a nice four to one lead. Things not looking good for the Hillers. Uh, 10.30 left of the game. Here comes Liz Watson. They looked really good in pregame, Westwood. Well, they are undefeated on the season. Two wins, no losses, no ties heading into this game. It's looking like they'll stay undefeated. Well, their baseball team got beat last year, so. Penalty corner here for oh, Westwood. Gee. An embarrassment at Richards for Westwood. Kathleen Reisfelder sets it up. It's got to be their seventh or eighth penalty corner. Back and forth in the box. And I'll draw a whistle, some contact there between Bean and Nestella. Hiller's ball. Do you know a legal stick can be five feet, two inches long if you want it? I did not. Yeah. I'm doing a lot of studying, Tom. It's good. About time. Very dry reading, I got to say. There's Diomede, and it's turned away. This is a nice pass. Cammie McDonald going up the sideline. Slapped away by, by uh, Rachel Nording. 
Stella was trying to take control, but Hannah Bloomquist had something to say about that. It's a lot more physical, Westwood is. Bloomquist driving in. Turned away. Nice job by Ellery Chute. Oh, we got a breakout. Megan White on a breakaway. And Good block tackle by Westwood. Yeah. Laid that stick flat and took the ball away. Carolina Stella nice. now. I'll draw a whistle, some stick contact there. Free hit from the spot of the pass. Rachel Norling puts it in play. Oh. Another whistle in favor of Westwood. Somebody did something bad in the shooter circle. 8-12 left in the game. Hopkins better make a move and quick. Lexi Bean with possession on the near side. Trying to keep it away from a pair of Hillers. She comes from a very famous pam family, Lexi Bean. Pass up to Diomede. <laughs> Grandfather LL. <laughs> Good steal there by Chute. Pass stolen away by Liz Watson. Driving in, and we have a contact whistle. And the Hopkins coach takes a look at this all 22. She won't be happy. Another penalty corner for Westwood. When does the all 22 get released? No idea. Oh, okay. <laughs> Liz Watson sets it up. Bloomquist, shot, deferred by Gross. Penalty corner once again for Westwood. Almost six minutes remaining. Great save by Gross. Into the shooter's circle. Nice move there. There's a shot. And it was out of play. And a Bloomquist on the attempt. Yeah, I don't know. With a running clock, you'd think there'd be some sense of urgency, but just sort of walking up. Well, they might have accepted their fate. Is Kane with the attempt to get it upfield? Oh, his trouble. Ooh, and that is wide, wide left. Yeah. It was a nice block by Westwood's Taylor Kane there. Five thirty and counting left to go in the game. Four to one Westwood. That hit a body, but not to their advantage. This whistle in favor of the Hillers. Liz Kane sets it up. Now Westwood. They just want it more. I think it's going to be a penalty corner once again. Well, the Hillers just did not have much luck today against this aggressive Westwood team. Who's going to take it from out this, outside the 16-yard line? Pass over. Here comes Bloomquist. Wow. A shot out in front, nice block. A laser. That was a good block there by Megan Muldoon. Here's Cammie McDonald. Westwood now. This whistle in favor of the Hillers. Closing in on four minutes left to go in the game. 
Pass up by Rachel Nordling. Picked Stella up by blocked. Wolverine. Now closing in is Muldoon and a whistle here in favor of the Hillers. Hopkins setting things up. It'll be a free hit, free hit. And intercepted by Westwood. Along the near side is Libby Dorsky for Westwood. She has control right now. Playing keep away with Ellery Chute. And kill some time, Westwood. On the far side. Closing in on three minutes left to go. Wolverines just playing keep away pretty much, but still trying to charge it into Hiller's territory. But it that could be a that tactic, you know, Tom. Yeah. Delay, delay, delay. You did three goals up. Yeah. You don't, no, you don't need to have too much urgency. But if they have an opportunity, they'll certainly try to take it. 235 and counting left to go. Four to one Westwood lead. They're everywhere. Pass up wide right. Kendall Bloomquist putting some power into that one. Seems like every outlet pass Hopkinton takes, it's intercepted by a Wolverine. Well, I, maybe that was a uh, burn some clock strategy there. Just smash it out of play. Well, if you do it intentionally, that's a penalty. Here comes Blomquist. She's a good dribble of that Blomquist. Certainly is. Uh-oh. This Westwood team is certainly impressive, no doubt. Yeah, but they their baseball team is not very good. Well, we're on the field hockey, Larry. <laughs> that shot deferred. The tempo is by Vitiello. Minute and a half left. Hillers will drop to two wins, one loss, one tie on the season. Westwood will improve to three wins, no losses, and no ties. Closing in on a minute left, four to one Westwood. Cammie McDonald on a break. Pass up, able to get to it was Estella. Now she's contested. Good box out by Mastro Maddie. Good body position by whoever that is carrying the puck up. Dramatic. Nice job keeping it away there. 30 seconds left. There's no urgency on others, either side. Westwood working in Hiller's territory. They've. It's going to be it. Done a good job at controlling the better part of the second half. The Hillers started off with a nice goal early on, but Westwood able to score a couple of their own, and all the scoring in this game took place in the second half. And the Westwood Wolverines remain undefeated as they take down the Hopkinton Hillers by a final score of four to one. Tough loss for the Hillers, but a long season to go. They'll certainly Learn from some mistakes this game and try to improve, but a lot of talent was on the field here today. Westwood now 3-0-0 on the season. The Hillers now 2-1-1. The final score for the final time. Westwood takes down Hopkinton 4-1. For Matt Clark on camera, broadcast partner Larry Sacklad. I'm Tom Nappy. We thank you for watching Hillers Field Hockey on HCAM. Take care, enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll talk to you again soon.